New developments tonight in the shooting death of SWAT Sergeant James O'Connor. A little more than a month after the Philadelphia officer was killed while serving a warrant, two more individuals are charged with his murder. Greg Argos reports. March 13th, Philadelphia SWAT serving a felony arrest warrant leads to the killing of Sergeant James O'Connor IV. Investigators say the 46-year-old veteran, one of eight SWAT members who entered a Frankfurt home to arrest 21-year-old murder suspect Hassan Elliott, when that suspect fired a rifle through a door, striking and ultimately killing O'Connor. Myself and my assistant chief, Joanne Pescatore, have literally worked every single day since March 13th combing through uh, a variety of evidence. And Friday, that hard work leading to additional murder charges for two men, Bilal Mitchell and Khalif Sears, who investigators say were both inside that room with Elliot. They are charged with the murder of Sergeant O'Connor and the attempted murder of his seven SWAT team members. We are additionally uh, filing criminal conspiracy charges against both Mitchell Sears and Hassan Elliott uh, as a result of our investigation. Anthony Voci, the district attorney's chief of the homicide unit, says evidence still shows Elliott was the only shooter, but Sears and Mitchell are being charged under the state's conspiracy act. And the evidence that we developed in this case is that Mr. Sears, Mr. Mitchell, and uh, Mr. Elliott were part of a street gang um, and they conducted a lot of illegal activity that supported each other. The killing of Sergeant O'Connor was an act in furtherance of that conspiracy. It was something that had been discussed and something that could be foreseen from their perspective. We reached out to Sergeant O'Connor's family for comment. They directed us to the Fraternal Order of Police. President John McNesby there releasing this statement, quote, these defendants should never have been on the street, and that led to the murder of a Philadelphia hero, Sergeant Jim O'Connor IV. We stand shoulder to shoulder with the entire O'Connor family and the men and women of the Philadelphia Police Department as they seek justice for this unspeakable homicide. In Philadelphia, Greg Argos, CBS3 Eyewitness News.